So, if I wanted to maximize the number of steam cores that I could get in this, in this scenario, I would dismantle everything that you can, except for the food village, because you don't get extra steam cores by dismantling it. And I don't even know why Winter Home exists as an outpost where you can get wood. 150 wood is not enough to justify an outpost, in my opinion. 150 wood a day is nothing. Okay, it's a wall drill, a basic one. Why would you need that? The storm hits the city. A howling gale bursts upon the city and the generator creaks and groans under the weight of the wind. Pale faces turn towards rattling windows, trembling lips utter words of prayer. The cold will be brutal. Hunting's impossible. The soil in the hothouses will freeze. We'll have to make do with what food we stockpile. The city must survive. Now we just have to survive the storm. Hope just dropped through the floor. 908 people living near a watchtower, but it says, yo, we have 900. We have a population of 908. We need to boost the public house. And then, we need to turn on the heaters, all the infirmaries, the care houses, just to make sure that they stay warm enough. And the medical posts. Because with the cold like this, chances are good that people are going to become ill. Crank up the heater on that. Okay. These things... Now, here's the thing. Negative 130 degrees Fahrenheit. This is nuts. These are no longer working. So, the problem with that is that they're freezing. And since they can't go out to work, if we leave the workers in here, then what's going to happen is, during work time, they're going to hang out in their hunter's hangars. They're not actually going to do any work. But because it's freezing, they are going to freeze and get sick, and it'll be bad. So we need to not let them do that. The workshops are still nice and warm, so we can keep researching stupid things that don't matter. We have 12 automatons. This isn't a city of steam. Listen to that. Is that thunder? I can't even go to the map. Okay, so I can't even zoom out of the city now to see what the map looks like, but the map is going to be nuts. I can already tell that. Speed it up. So we're at negative 130. The houses have changed from comfortable to livable. It's going to get cold. At uh, it's going to get even colder the next. It's going to get colder now, so they're going to go from livable to chilly. Goodness. We have to survive. It's all purple. It's all freezing. We don't... See, here's the thing. We don't even want people to go into this area. So, if, for example, I was to build something out here... The people would have to travel out here, and as soon as they leave the heat zone and start coming out here, they're going to start getting instant frostbite, basically. And I imagine that we would end up with a ton of sick people. I don't imagine it. That's what happened when I when I got to this point in a different playthrough. I ended up with instantly, like, 50 people got sick because they walked out of the heat zone and they went out to do the build. So don't build anything out there once the storm hits. We don't have any more... Um, we don't have any more laws we want to pass. I mean, there's a lot more laws that we could pass, but there's no point. I don't even know why dueling law exists. It sounds so dumb. Let me talk about that while we just let this go. So the dueling law allows people to resolve their differences with a duel. In practice, what that means is that they'll fight each other, and it'll lower discontent. The problem is it says people can die from it. And because I've mentioned that danger of collapse, one of our injuries must talk to you is concerned about the danger that the cold poses to our minds. We're doing everything we can to heat the mines, but the air we're pumping into the shafts is so cold now that the hydraulic roof supports are starting to freeze. This tunnels will and we don't want the tunnels to collapse. I can heat these mines quite a bit. I don't know why the advanced one isn't as warm. None of them are in the range of a, of a hub. I don't know why that one is so much warmer than this one. 
Whoa, we've uh, mined out half of that. Holy cow. They started 100,000. We've actually mined out half of it. So people are going to have to find a different source of coal once this is all said and done because it seems like... Uh, I hope the coal mines don't collapse. We have enough coal for five days even if that does happen. The wind, I can't hear my own dogs. Didn't think it was possible for it to get this cold. Oh, it's getting colder. Negative 133, 5, Negative 148 degrees Fahrenheit. The houses are now chilly. I have no way of heating these things anymore. Ooh, the workshops are cold. Okay, well, it was a fun idea to try and read. But wait, there's only one research left. Coal mine crisis, the mines are freezing. It's so cold that the hydraulic roof supports in our coal mines are failing. If the tunnels collapse, the lower levels will be cut off. We should either abandon them or send volunteers to replace the supports. Ten volunteers will be sent to each mine. Some of them may die. The output of all types of coal mines will fall by 80%. We have enough coal, but I'm, I'm trying to think about the future. Okay? Think about this. What This storm... I mean, we, we won't get to play through it, but after the storm, people are still going to need these coal mines. We can't let the coal mine output drop by 80% now, because then the people are going to be screwed. Unless they're going to be able to re-dig the coal mines later. So we're going to send 30 people to the mines, and some of them might die. I mean, no, it doesn't mean may. Some of these people will die. Okay, it's going to happen. 30 people died. Wow! You said some of them may die. You didn't say all of them were going to die. Great. You didn't say all of them. I mean, I should have known this was going to happen. 648 people in the city. 30 people just died. Ooh, that's uh, not good for hope. What am I talking about? We'll hit him with propaganda. Propaganda with Milton Man. We didn't even need to do that, but I'm thinking about the long term. I'm trying to think about what'll happen to this city after this storm. We can't let the mines get a take a hit like that. That must be one of the dead people who was working there. Most of our people are unemployed, so I imagine wow, we see. How come these houses don't have like I think we've researched everything. I think there'd be a, a an achievement for that. Researching everything. I would think so. No, nope, there's no achievement for researching everything. Now what we can do is um, send all these people home. Because they're too cold. I mean, it's funny because the workshops are actually warmer than their houses. But we're just going to let them go home and be with their families. We don't need to research anything. Everything's done. We're just trying to survive. I like that the edges of the screen are frozen. The volunteers we sent to keep the mines running were enough. There's been a cave-in. I've never even seen this before. I'd either we send more people to open the tunnels and replace the rest of the supports, or the sacrifice of the first group will be in vain. More people are going to die. 14 people. It's a lot of deaths. I didn't know this was going to happen. If I knew that this... that I didn't... Man, the game really sends stuff at you. Uh, if I knew that that was going to happen, I would have uh, probably implemented the, um, the ceremonial funerals instead of the uh, dumping them and stuff. It's, it's funny that we can't use the automatons for that. It has to be people. I mean, they're too big. The automatons are too big to fit. Let's go ahead and do a patrol. Well, no, patrol is mostly for discontent. It's not really going to raise hope much. Uh, somebody else died. I'm not sure what they died of. So, so far, we've lost uh, 38 people over the course of this month. Basically a person a day, but no, most of them died just now. And then we didn't need to... Let me be... Oh, whoa, why are people getting... 
Why are so many people becoming ill? Nobody's working. Is it just because they're living in chilly places? No one's. No one should be at these uh, child shelters. Clinton Wampole's an engineer. Lots of people are getting sick. I mean, it's okay. We will just give them extra rations. And we will heal them more quickly. Holy cow! That's a lot of sick people. Oh no! Ah, look at that. Look how cold it is. Negative 166. I can't do any. I can. Oh, I can. I can overdrive the generator, but look, it's gonna get even colder over here. So we need to save the overdrive for that. Holy cow! Look at this. The houses are cold. Moderate risk of getting ill. There's no way to heat the houses anymore. We just have to hope we can treat people. This volunteers managed to replace the supports. Our coal supply is safe for now, but the cost was great. 45 of our people paid with their lives to give us a chance of survival. And they will be honored. You can bet your butt they'll be honored. That is a great sacrifice they made. It's even like very cold, just it's freezing just inside all these buildings. It's freezing inside the heat zones. The only place where it's even remotely not freezing is inside these houses. You can't, you shouldn't even, you guys should not even be milling about in, in this area. This place is cold right now. It's no wonder people are getting sick. I just hope that these infirmaries will, will empty out quickly enough for us to treat more people. Yes, they do appear to be doing that. This was something that I was wondering about um, when I go in going order instead of going um, faith. Because when you go faith, you get these buildings called the House of Healing. It's like an infirmary. That it's, it, it, it is. It's an infirmary that doesn't require a steam core. It runs a little slower than the infirmary at, at healing people. But it can be run by standard workers and it still holds ten people. And it doesn't require a steam core at all, and it raises slightly, it gives a slight hope boost to all the people that are, um, the people that get treated there. Alright, we're at negative 166, it's about to get colder again. I had no idea about that cold coal mine thing, because the one time that I've gotten to this point in this, holy cow! Okay, this is a problem. Wow, we have 56 people that need that don't that need treatment, but we don't have any room in the infirmaries and medical posts for them. And I am loath to tell my people to build additional 78. Holy cow, this is too much. 82. Holy cow, so many people are ill. Are sick. At least they're not gravely ill. They're not gravely ill. I feel like I should deconstruct. We're going to try this. Gonna dismantle these buildings. It's inside the generator's heat zone. Gonna dismantle these. In their place. Ah! Negative 184. Overdrive it. Uh, it's only just barely enough. One of our engineers has come crashing to the door, white-faced, demanding to see you. I've run the calculations of the new data. The storm will pass in a couple of days, but the temperature just before the end will drop drastically. Nothing can protect us from such cold. Panic is starting to spread, and people are losing all hope. Stay strong, people! Stay strong! We will survive this. 
I have brought you to this point. I will not allow you to die now. Dismantling these workshops so that we can build. Can't build infirmaries um, because I don't have steam cores. But we can build medical posts. I don't even know if an infirmary would have fit in there, but three medical posts will treat uh, 15 more people. A group of people in point at this watchtower refuses to go to work today. They want to spend it alone with their families. They can stay home. I have an, at an automaton available, so he can run that. Crank it up. I bet you it's also the people that are actually just working these infirmaries that are getting that are getting ill because they're working in well no they're actually warm now because of all that heating upgrades the infirmaries and stuff are, are quite warm extra rations for the ill extra rations extra rations this is another situation where if you wanted to, you could triage. Look! Oh, there it is! A sun! Two people are freezing. It's gotta be these guard posts. No, it's not. If there's an area, of, if there's a building that's considered freezing, and there's people there, it'll tell you. I don't see it. Even Propaganda Center is at full blast. Crank the hope. Let's do a patrol to lower the discontent. Raise the hope. There should be an, there should be an ability at, at the agitator that does something cool. It has no ability. We're gonna make it, people. Don't worry. The generator will. Uh, it's only. It's a halfway to, uh, to to going critical. His workplace is a watchtower. Oh. We need to... The watchtower is freezing cold. The guard stations... They're warm because they're enclosed. The watchtowers, on the other hand, are uh, exposed. So that watchtower was too cold, so they, they were getting uh, the frostbite, which likely is what that was. We are getting close to being able to give... Okay, we can give extra rations again. Keep these medical stations running at 221%. To try and keep these people... ...well, as well as we can. It's a nice city that we've built, I feel. Yeah, I know, the wind's too loud. Can't hear your thoughts. Ooh, another thing. Even more people have abandoned their workplaces. They're completely petrified. Many of them don't believe we'll make it. This time, the entire staff of this propaganda center have refused to go to work. I'll let them stay home. I know. It, I knew it was going to lower hope, but you know what? It's fine. The propaganda center was keeping them hope up. The man who went looking for his daughter is back. He, How has he survived the storm? He says that he found her soon after leaving the city, but then they got lost and had to wait for a lull in the blizzard. What lull in the blizzard? I tell you what, that should have raised hope. I'm surprised that it didn't raise hope. That's ridiculous that he was able to survive out there. Okay, the generator can't overdrive any longer. We don't have a steam core to fix it. Basically, if I had an extra steam core... When the generator got close to going critical, I could have um, used a steam core to stabilize it, but I don't have one. I can't afford these watchtowers to not be running because the um, right now the propaganda center is cold. It's actually too cold to run. Ah, discontent is above hope. We'll 
lower the discontent and raise the hope with the patrol. I wish that I could run the propaganda. Child shelters are too cold, but it's fine. They'll just stay at home. Poor people are freezing. Where were they working? The propaganda center. It's too cold anyway. It's not operating. Come on. We're going to make it. Look how cold these houses are. Negative 184 degrees Fahrenheit. That is some cold, cold, cold. Six people became gravely ill. Crap, frostbite. We have to stay strong. Gravely ill people. Well, we have several automatons that are running. Ah! Negative 238 degrees Fahrenheit. Ah, crank up the overdrive. 104 people are sick. No! <laughs> oh my goodness, the medical posts are too cold to run. 124 people are sick. 33 people are gravely ill. Come on, we're almost there, people. Don't die on me. Don't you dare die on me. Come on. Give them extra rations at the ones that'll actually run. The infirmaries. See, that's the thing. Houses of Healing in, under Faith, they would be running because they're warmer than medical posts. Man, the Houses of Healing are really, really good, and I really wish that I had them. 615 people are freezing. I know. There's nothing I can do. We have all the upgrades. Your houses are as warm as they can possibly get. It's just too cold. Come on! Ah, the storm ended! Yes! And Max, oh wow, hope Max is out. We did it! We survived the storm! It's over, I cannot believe it. It's finally over. We survived, we made it! Yes, you did, you made it, people! You made it! Now we can crank the steam level back down to one. And have enough gold to last for like. Three month, two months or something? I don't know. I wonder how they're going to survive long term. I really want another scenario that takes place after this. Oh, this is awesome. Look at that. It's a time lapse of us building our city. This is so cool. We started as a small society. Some refugees. 80 people. No food. Old habits. We always had food though, we never ran out. Look at this. Look at that getting built. That's so cool. First we decided to tighten our belts. Yep. We ate soup. Thin soup became our main meal. Yes it did. There's an achievement I think for getting through it without eating soup. Man, we have to have so many more people gathering food. And every day was a struggle. Yep. So we adapted. It's gonna go through all the laws we got in adaptation. Is it? Watchful guards, work oversight, morning gatherings, masses of sick. And that was a bad thing. I didn't have enough infirmaries. I didn't need all those cool ones. Yes, I think. We haven't crossed the line! I didn't cross the line! Order gave us strength. We survived. Hey, hey, we didn't cross the line. We built a society worth saving. 1887, New London, 635 people, minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Heck yeah, 635 people is not enough to sustain a healthy human population past four generations, I think. We did it, people, we survived the new home scenario. Um, so there's two other scenarios. There's the arcs, which have actually already completed, and then there's the refugees. Um, this, the ARCs is, is, a, is a scenario that, that is heavy on automatons. The refugees is a scenario where you have a ton of people that end up showing up. Um, which, let me know which one you would like to see me play next, or if instead of that, you'd like to see me uh, do some, like, guides videos or something for Frostpunk. Because I really like to, to make some, like, uh, 
guide style videos. I think that's what I'll be doing. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, even though it doesn't get as many views as my other series. I really appreciate you that do watch this, that did watch this Let's Play, because I love this game with a passion. Uh, the next step for me is going to be trying to beat the game on hard. I'll probably record it, but we won't do like a full straight Let's Play. I'll probably cut it to like the interesting things that happened, unless you want to see a full Let's Play on hard. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, join us on the Discord if you want to chat. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.